terms of what our mind can comprehend, we've dismissed. What other possibility? So the only plausible possibility is something. Now let's leave. Let's let's not bring God into the equation for the time being. Although we we shall. So. The only possibility is something beyond the universe has created the universe. The universe is made of parts, composited within parts. So it cannot be there, it's dependent upon these parts. So therefore something independent of that yeah, has to yeah, create. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good man. I completely get you. So there's no way around this. It's called the contingency argument. Okay? That something, everything is contingent upon something else, going on and on and on, except for the one necessary being who is independent. So that makes sense compared to that. So, so that's why that's the only possibility you see. It's otherwise, what is the other possibility? A universe from nothing, which means the absence of everything and anything. How can something, like a nothing create something? It doesn't make any sense. Did the universe create itself? Meaning, it's like comparing to the mother give birth to her own self. It makes no sense at all. So the only possibility is it must be a creator. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I'd say, I'd say, you know, when it comes to the mother and a child, that's very much within our, our, our realm of understanding. Yes. And when it comes to the universe, yep. it's a whole, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole other sort it's, of... It's an analogy. It's not, yeah. God is giving an analogy, for example. Yeah, did, no, yeah, did yeah. they create themselves? Or, did, did, meaning no, God is taking... So, so why then we give that a analogy to the universe? Is did the universe create itself? It's, and it would be analogous to then saying, as an example, like a mother creating herself. That would be, so it doesn't make any sense that the universe would create itself. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, it, it, would be, it would have to be dependent upon something. Yeah, yeah you follow yeah. me? It's just basic logic. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. see, you feel me? Okay, good. So in that case, my friend, what I'm saying to you, the possibility that God exists. So we're not bringing God yet into the equation. What, now what we do, for example, we're, we're living in a technological age, we're going back 30 years, or 40 years, no one who's seen a mobile phone, if, and I was to give this phone to you, and I was to say to you, you could speak from using this device in a matter of moments from one end of the world to the other. You say, okay, that's interesting. And then I give you the device and I will say to you, here you are, operate it. What's the first thing you're going to ask about how to operate it? You're going to show, show me instructions, aren't you? A manual. So God then, it makes no sense if there's a creator that he creates us purposelessly, meaning for no purpose whatsoever. It makes sense, he sends us guidance. It makes no sense which he creates us and says, okay, don't worry, I've created you, then I'll judge you, but I won't send you any guidance. I'll just judge you. But you're going to say, oh God, you should have at least given me some guidance how to live my life. So here we have guidance in the form of revelation. God sends messengers, prophets, you may be familiar. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them, are messengers of God. The final revelation of God to mankind is the Quran revealed for all of mankind to understand that one day we are to return to God and we have to live out a life in fulfillment to our Creator. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it does. Make, which background is, where have you come from? Maybe like, uh, what are your parents sent? Uh, Burmese. Burmese, yeah. Okay, it's cool. So, um, this is the overwhelming message of Islam. There's one supreme God. We've got a relationship with that God by, by as He commands, we obey. So we worship Him. You've probably got Muslim friends. Yeah. So we pray five times a day, we bow, we prostrate to God, you know, in that five times a day, which is something that prophets did in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. Um, not that they are in its current form, but that's how they used to pray. So this is universal to why we have to worship our Creator. He's given us everything. If I was to ask for your two nice eyes, say, here you are, 50 million pounds and you'd be blind for the rest of your life. Would you take the 50 million pounds? Not a chance. Not a chance. God has given us for free. The food that we eat, the nose that we um, smell through, the, the nose that we breathe, the, um, the air that we breathe. You know, it's, God has given it to us. We should be grateful. If I gave you 10 million pounds... It, it, it is all very perfect. Perfect. Say, it's all you know, perfectly... I, I, do, I do look at you know, some, of, some of these, these animals and these creatures and, these, and uh, just life in general. Life in general. Wow. Superbly designed. Like, you, know, you know when you get, you see like a, there's a caterpillar. Yes. And then, the butt of the caterpillar becomes the perfect shape of the snake. Yes. And to look like a, it's, it's, it's insane. Or you've got these butterflies that look exactly like a leaf. It's yes. Like, and then ah. it goes into a leaf. I mean, yeah. but, sorry, the caterpillar, its tail then goes yeah, into, yeah, a, yeah, into yeah. a. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? Yeah. So, Allah, God, our creator, is beyond this. He's created the unit, he's beyond the unit, the only independent being. So, hence, Islam, its relationship is that we pray five times a day. And we do at all times, we make sure we worship God and God alone. 
We don't give God, in, in our religion, we don't give God imagery. So God is not a man. He's not like his creation. He's not a woman. He's not an idol. He's not a statue. He's not a tree. God is unlike his creation. He's beyond the creation. Make sense? Makes, it will logically make sense. You wouldn't give anything yeah, which would no, be... You wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't gender a God. You wouldn't gender a God. Or neither would you give anything comparable to it. Because it's already from the metaphysical. As me and you speak, if I put my hands out towards you, in between us we've got time, matter, space, you know, energy, all components of what God created us with, to rather. So what we observe then, by God's grace, is that we then invite people to know that we're only on this earth for a limited time. You're a young man, are you? 20, 21 maximum? 22. 22. That's not bad, I guess, is it? So um, in, in effect, um, we're on, we're not, you weren't here 50 years ago, and we're not going to be here, neither of us will be, I won't be here in 100 years' time. So we're going to be departing. And who will we, where are we all going? So he's created us once, and this life is a test for the hereafter, which will be eternal life. Anyone who laughs at that, they're laughing at themselves because we're here miraculously in the first place. And we're here to be judged by our Creator, who which of you is best indeed. So once you know the message of Islam, worship God and God alone. Worship and obey Him. He's the only one worthy of worship. And therefore it becomes incumbent upon you to accept that Creator. Otherwise, we're going to be left in folly. All this, the way I've you know, tried to articulate those points to you in terms of there must be an independent source. And then we've seen about it must send guidance. It makes no sense that He creates you without any guidance on how to live your life. And then He will judge you at the end times. Uh, at the, right at the end, meaning when there is, the, there is no world, when he, He'll bring us up and He will judge us. And this is what Islam is inviting. We've got it all, each and every one of us, a creation of God, but we have to, at the same juncture, worship Him and Him alone and give no partners or associates to Him. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's the message of Islam. To become a Muslim is very, very easy. You, what you do, you testify there's only one God. Then you testify God sends messengers, of which there are, you're familiar with, I'm sure, Abraham. Moses, Joshua, David, Solomon, Jesus, the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace, all came to their communities to bring them back to worshipping God and God alone. Does that make sense? If you believe that, which you've gone from being agnostic to accepting what I've told you about, yes, there must be a God, into now accepting, yes, well, we have to live a life according to God's will. If you believe that, that makes you a Muslim by proxy. Definitively, that's a Muslim. You, don't, you, you might think, oh, I can't be that simple. There must be a catch. Pardon? I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim. Yeah, then you're a Muslim then. Why don't you testify to it? Why don't you become a Muslim today? What you then we do, we do, what we do, we do... I'm, a, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very much completely open to, to, the, uh, to the idea, even accept the idea that there is, there is a higher life after, after this yes, one. Because it makes, you know why it makes sense? You know those people who mock it, who yeah. laugh at it, yeah. the, the, the fact that they're here in the first place miraculously, and with all the... Way everything is conducive to um, the uh, you know to, to life or to existence in itself, they're mocking themselves because if it can be done once, the Almighty can do it again. So if you if you believe that, my what's your name? Ben, ben Mustafa. Delighted to meet you, Ben. Ben, so listen, accept Islam today, become a Muslim. You think about it. Okay, think about what some of the points I've said. Have a good read. I'll, I'll give you a copy of the Quran in English, free of charge as well, if you would like one. The Quran, the Muslim. It's free yeah, it's free. It's, everything's free we've got here. You can watch our little discussion tonight on YouTube. It's been filmed. If you're happy to be on the camera, we can keep you there. If not, we can blur you out, but you shouldn't be having any worries about that. I'll tell you the name of the station once we've finished speaking. See what we've spoken about on the channel. See if it re reflects on what we've spoken about. We're here regularly, particularly on Saturdays from 2.30 to 8.30. But even the rest of the week, the rest of this week, we'll be here from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you want to come by, if it makes sense, Allah can guide I'm your heart. I'm actually not in, in the area. You're I'm not in the area. I'm literally just here to visit my brother. Oh, I see. That's I cool. I live in uh, West London. West London. Okay, that's cool. No problem at all. So, like I said, um, reflect on what I've said. Yeah. If it resonates with you, and I think it does, it really does. I can sense yeah, no, it in you. It, it, it does resonate. It does resonate. resonate. Fantastic. So, like I said, it's, it may sound very simplistic, Ben, but essentially it's that simple. You testify there's only one God, which we've, made, uh, we've broken down. And then you testify that God sends messengers, which I've made mention as to who they are. And the final message is the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace. With the Quran sent as a divine guidance for all of mankind, following the Old, New and New Testament, that which was revealed to those prophets at that time. And the final testament is the Quran for guidance for all mankind upon how your Creator wants you to live. Make sense? Delighted to speak to you, Ben. Listen, you know what we do now, inshallah. What I'll do is I'll give you a copy of the Quran and then we can, um, you can review our little discussion 
on YouTube tonight when you get home. Hopefully, hundreds of hundreds of thousands of views as well. <laughs> okay, well, you got a crown for the uh, for the young man. Okay, Ben, that's for you. It's a whole copy of the Quran in English. Have a read. You surprise your friends. Tell them, listen, guys, what do you know about the Quran? I'll tell you what it says here and there. <laughs> All right, Ben, delighted to meet you. Okay, my good man. Take it, how you say. Take it, Ben. Alhamdulillah. <laughs>